friends, I'm Sharyu Pujari and I'm an educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy Learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So this lesson is on some solved examples related to BOD part 2. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons because it is very important for me as an educator on this platform. Also do share this video and subscribe us on YouTube channel. Thank you. Friends, welcome to an academy and this lesson on fifth lesson on solved examples on BOD part 2 by Sharyu Pujari. So about me, I've completed my M.Tech in Environmental Science and Technology. I've completed my B.E. in Civil Engineering. I have two years of experience in teaching and you can follow me on this link. So if you follow me, you will get notified every time I publish a new lesson or new course on this platform. As well as this is my profile on an Academy Learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons because it is very important for me as an educator on this platform do share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel so friends in this lesson what we are going to see we are going to see some two marks questions that are very important or the questions which are asked on bod right so we'll uh, we'll solve them in detail so i have taken some questions which were asked in previous gate question papers right so in my previous lesson in this course we have seen uh, the what are the like characteristics of sewage that is physical examination and chemical examination then we have seen bod in detail we have solved some examples also in part one so in next we have seen the mathematical expressions of bod which is a very important topic please do if you have not referred that lesson please do refer that lesson note down the formulas because that formulas we are going to use in this lesson right so if you have a list ready of formulas with you, this uh, understanding of this lesson will be easy for you, right? So let's start with this lesson. So the first question is that determine the ultimate BOD of a wastewater sample, which was subjected to the BOD determination as follows. So 6 ml of wastewater containing no dissolved oxygen was mixed with 294 ml of water containing 8.6 mg per liter of DO that is dissolved oxygen. So after incubation at 20 degrees Celsius for 5 days, the DO of the mixture was 5.4 mg per liter. So the BOD rate constant K to the base A is E is 0.25 per day. So this question was asked in gate 96. This in round one, I have shown the slide number or page number so that it will be very handy for you as some students requested me to give some page numbers or slide numbers to my video. So I am providing this number which which is for the page number or slide number right so this question was asked in gate 1996 so we'll try to uh, analyze the question first so they have given that a uh, bod determination was as follows so they have given 6 ml of sewage sample which was mixed with, with 294 ml of water which was having 8.6 mg per liter of do so after incubation at 20 degrees celsius for 5 days the do of the mixture was was 5.4 mg per liter so also the k uh, bod rate constant k is also given to the base e so friends let's see the solution we'll see the solution for this so th these are the given values that is volume of sample is 6 ml volume of distilled water or volume of water is 294 ml do of water or do of uh, uh, distilled water is given as 8.6 mg per liter so and do5 that is final do they have given as 5.4 mg per liter uh, rate constant bod rate constant to the base a that is k to base a is given 0.25 per day right so we need to find out the ultimate bod that is the initial organic compound so ultimate bod we need to find out for that purpose we the ultimate bod formula is uh, right we can found it by the formula yt is equal to l naught in bracket 1 minus e raised to minus kt and uh, for that purpose for finding out l naught from that we first need to find out the yt that is 
the BOD and for finding out the BOD we don't know the initial the uh, we have the final DO but we don't have the initial DO right for that purpose from this formula that is the DO initial formula or DO mix formula that I have given in my first lesson on BOD right that is in my uh, BOD lesson please do refer that in that I have provided this formula and its explanation so the DO initial or DO mix formula is VD into DO of water plus vs that is volume of sample into do of sample divided by volume of water plus volume of cva sample right so putting all the values here that is 294 into 8.6 plus 6 into do of uh, sewage is uh, taken as zero here because they have said in question uh, they have the 6 ml of wastewater containing no dissolved oxygen right so here it is taken as 0 divided by 294 plus 6 will give us 8.428 mg per liter so this is our DO initial and DO final they have given in the question so our BOD formula or YT uh, at 5 day 20 degree Celsius will be DO initial minus DO final into dilution factor so it is this we have found out by do mix formula so 8.428 minus 5.4 into 300 by 6 because 300 sample 300 ml sample divided by sewage sample is 6 ml so our uh, yt that is bod that is 151.4 mg per liter right so next we need to find out so ultimate we need to find out the ultimate BOD right for ultimate BOD we can use this formula that is yt is equal to L0 1 minus uh, e raised to minus kt right in that putting all the values so this k value is given t we know that yt BOD we have found out for 5 days so yt we just found out so uh, putting all the values that is 1 51.4 is equal to L0 into 1 minus E raised to minus 0.25 into 5. So this will give us L0 here. So L0 is 212.19 mg per liter. So in this way we can find out ultimate BOD for this question. So 212 is the 212.19 mg per liter is the correct answer for this question. So now the second question is the 5 day 30 degree celsius BOD of a sewage sample is 110 mg per liter calculate its 5 day 20 degree celsius BOD assume KD uh, 20 is equal to 0 0.1 per day to the base 10 so here the they, the values given are 5 day at 20 degree celsius BOD is given right that is 110 mg per liter and KD 20 is given to the base 10 we need to convert that into base E how to convert that I will show in this lesson also this formula is given in my lesson on BOD right so we need to find out the 5 day BOD at 20 degree celsius so they, they have given 5 day BOD for 30 degree from that we need to calculate the 5 day BOD for 20 degree Celsius so here the K is given to base 10 we have to convert it to the base E so next is how to convert so K base E is equal to 2.3 into K into base 10 so the K to base 10 is given as 0.1 so 2.3 into 0.1 will give us 0.23 per day so that is our K to base E is it is equal to 0.23 per day so K T is equal to k20 into 1.047 raised to t minus 20 so for this they what they have given so bod of the at 30 degree celsius they have given so we need to find out the k for 30 degree right so k30 is equal to putting all the values so k20 we have just found out that is 0 0.23 into 1.047 raised to 30 minus 20 this is t is the temperature right 30 minus 20 so k30 will be 0 0.364 per day so putting that values in this formula so l0 that is ultimate bod so yt raised to t degree celsius is equal to l0 1 minus e raised to minus kt into small t right so yt they have given that is y for c here they have given 
वाई फाइव फॉर थर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस दैट इज वन वन जीरो सो वी हैव टेकन इट एज वन वन जीरो इट इज इक्वल टू एल नॉट वन माइनस ई रेज टू के थर्टी वी हैव जस्ट फाउंड आउट दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स फोर इन टू फाइव फॉर फाइव डेज राइट सो एल नॉट हियर इज वन थ्री वन पॉइंट टू सिक्स एम जी पर लीटर सो वी हैव फाउंड आउट द अल्टीमेट बी ओ डी फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वाई फाइव फॉर ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस so l not so this formula we can use to find out y phi at 20 degree celsius so it is equal to l not 1 minus e raised to minus k20 into phi so putting all the values in the equation that is 131.26 in bracket 1 minus e raised to 0.23 into phi will give us our y phi at 20 degree celsius that is bod of phi at 20 degree celsius is equal to 89.70 mg per liter so in this way we can solve multiple problems if we know the formula is properly of the bod for this purpose what you need to do is please do carefully watch my ex mathematical expressions on bod list out all the formulas and then do revise them daily so that you will remember those formula and yes you have to practice the uh, problems more and more so the more you practice the problems the more you will get perfect in the solving this type of questions so please do uh, rate review and recommend my lessons and courses and thank you for watching